And Iowa County Farms owners are cleaning up after vandals ripped through overnight, causing more than $100,000 in damage. History's Theo Keith shows us how the crime is affecting operations there. Amid the normal sights and sounds on a dairy farm, Kevin Eim got a different view this morning. It's kind of dumbfounded. I was like, I don't think you know who can do something like this. Overnight, vandals ripping three silage bags that each hold 500 plus tons of feed. 10, 15 minutes, might have been in and out of here. Allowing a lot of it to spill out. Now there's a lot of cleanup to do. We strive to, you know, take good care of our cattle and put good feed into them and stuff like this. And then, you know, you do all the, the things to do everything right to get good quality feed to, to get healthy animals. And then, you know, something like this here happens. Iowa County Sheriff's Detective John Forbes says the vandals used a ballpoint pen and a razor blade to slice the 400-foot bags wide open. Kind of opportunity at this point uh, with the highway going right along there. And um, it's kind of senseless. Forbes says there are few clues to go on other than a footprint left near the silage bags. The crime also means the months it takes to grow the feed are now wasted. Well, basically the whole summer long. But Iim says his family-owned farm can recover. His workers can save most of the silage to feed his milking cows. But now that it's been exposed to the air, mold could grow, something that could affect the cows much later on. That's what we hope don't happen. We won't know the consequence of this till, you know, till six months, nine months down the road. I don't think they had no idea what what kind of damage or dollar value loss or damage was was done. We should all know, also note tonight that the family does have insurance, but because there are so few clues here, the family's putting up a $2,000 reward. That's in addition to Iowa County's reward for tips. If you have any information, you're asked to call Iowa County Crime Stoppers. We'll see if we get some answers. Theo, thanks a lot.